Check it out. Alright you guys, since nobody asked for it, I'm gonna do a little van tour. Um, yeah, I'll show you what I got going on. Just pulled into camp. Uh, we're out in Idaho. And yeah, I'll show you guys the interior. I'm gonna dim the lights a little bit, set the mood. There we go. So, <clears throat> we have the, the bed. It's a big old twin bed for my long dancer's legs. And uh, got all my tools. I packed pretty heavy in that regard. And up top I got uh, kitchen stuff, bathroom stuff. And then, uh, yeah, I'm in kind of road mode right now since we're on the, on the road camping a day or two at a time. So propane, dry food, tuna food day bag um, over here we've got this uh, cool little woodwork stuff and uh, yeah these are just little magnetic false fronts they have some gear back there and then they just mag it into place got a few of those uh, they're handy for sure and yeah I got my dimmer switch for the lights there and blinds um, hat rack, gotta have the hat rack. Uh, I got these computer fans that I'm really digging. They, uh, they work well for a little ambiance, a little breeze. Um, yeah, I got this little, uh, nice dusty ledge that I'll put some stuff on. Usually put my helmet up there when I get into bed. Um, yeah, more blinds. At the back, these are pretty cool. I gotta show this off. Um, yeah, so when you driving, you can throw them open and uh, close them obviously when you're chilling. But um, they go up and down with the, the tailgate, so kind of kind of stoked on how they turned out. That leads me to this corner. It's kind of hard to get around in here, but. The closet, obviously, gotta stay fly wherever I go. Boots, bag of uh, clothes, random motorcycle glove. Um, yeah, I got some pillows, got my little ledge over here. Everything is super dusty because we went to uh, Oregon, Oregon Outback. Yeah, I got the door. Um, <laughs> what else? Pretty sweet little ceiling. Can't really tell what's going on there, but yeah, it's uh, it's been a really good setup for this trip. Um, <clears throat> up front, I have my I bought out and bought a Yeti cooler. Um, it was uh, pricey, and I've always kind of shot on them, but it matched my interior, and it doubles as a center console. So pretty pretty happy with it. <laughs> Um, these are cool. These little alcoves I built in and uh, it's my movie theater, peanut butter. Um, yeah, they're pretty sweet. They kind of just little stash spots. Keep that bread on me. Uh, what else can I show you guys? Oh, I'll go around to the front. To show you the campsite. Got these uh, big old velour seats from 1997 that are disgusting, but kind of comfortable. Um, yeah, I just got tuna stuff up front. Keep it open so you can ride shotgun. Um, got my hat, you know, peanut butter cowboy. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the, for the inside. Um, I'm pretty stoked because I don't have to change anything for when I um, get up in the morning and leave. If I'm just camping a night or two, everything just stays put. Tuna drinks is water there. Bed stays put. Um, obviously, when I get to a camp spot with more, uh, I'm spending more time at all. 
take all this stuff out. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, you know what? I'll give you guys a little tour of the outside. So. There she is all propped up on her rocks. Got the moto on the back. I uh, highly recommend not doing this. Carrying a 400 pound bike on the back of an Astro. But uh, here we are. So you can kind of see the top, what I got going on. I made this rack a long time ago and it's been great. Um, got all my crap up there. Got knockoff Max tracks, spare tire. Got a uh, real name brand uh, Roto Packs. And I got very basic solar panel set up. And I'm kind of anti drilling a hole in my roof, so it's kind of routed a little funky, but it goes right through the window. And I have a baby Jackery that uh, does everything I want it to. So got my table up top and a chair. And of course, the horns. Um, they're a good touch. I fit in with, with all the crowds now, including the uh, rednecks. So stoked on that. Going around to the front. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty basic beat up buggy front end, but I did some lights a while back. They do not work right now, um, but they look cool. And then, uh, yeah, the bumper, I capped the, I cut and capped the stock bumper just to make it look a little more, uh, complete. And then I added the skid plate down here. Uh, made that out of quarter inch aluminum and uh, it's doing its thing. And it looks kind of uh, pre runnery, especially with the uh, motorcycle in the back. Kind of gives it that uh, Cali lift. Definitely looks a little squatted right now. Um, yeah, I got the awning up top. Um, pretty sweet little eight foot awning. Super, super cheap. Smitty belt. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but I built a bumper uh, a while back and it's holding up pretty stoked. It's had the spike on the back of it uh, from Colorado to Oregon and now we're working our way back. So fingers crossed that uh, my Harbor Freight hitch carrier uh, stays intact and the bike stays in the back. Oh, yeah, CB radio so I can uh, get yelled at by truckers. Um, my trucker name is, uh, Christian Mingle. Uh, it's also my drag name, in case you're wondering. But, um, yeah, it's pretty much it. I don't hear glory. I might be forgetting something. Um, but, yeah, oh, yeah, it's got a full wet bar down here and on the other side. Um, she's a thirsty girl, so I like to keep drinks on me when I roll. But yeah, um, hey bud, say hi. That's Tuna, that's Bill's Delica, it's really cool. Just, just got out of the water like a creature. <laughs> um, anyway, you guys, I'll, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know what I'll do with it, but if you see it, um, I hope you, I hope you like my man. Actually, I don't care if you like it, I love it. This thing's sick. All right, later.